Ferry. It stated Lorena to Dumaguete, but we don't. We, we have to go from uh, Sticky Hall Port. So we're getting a second tricycle to take us to the port. Um, and then we're getting our ferry at 130, I think it is, to Dumaguete. a couple of hours until the boat leaves so I think we're going to just try and chill out a little bit oh, it's so warm we got ourselves uh, a nice chilled bottle of water which we'll probably end up drinking all of it before we end up on the boat they're not that chilled but no. it's still cool but it's not chilled other than it being warmer. This marks one of the last few stops now before we fly home, home. So we've got Dumaguete for three nights, Oslo for three nights, back to Dumaguete for one night, and then we're in Manila for two nights. So we've still got just over a week. So this is business class, and it's very different to the ones we've had uh, earlier this week. How long is the ride to Dumaguete? 45 minutes. Okay, thanks. 45 minutes to Dumaguete, so it's a very short ride. Um, and hopefully we're the only ones in business class, so we can stretch our legs even more. We've just arrived in Dumaguete. Uh, didn't take that long to get here. I was falling asleep, I was asleep a little bit movement of the boat, coupled with the fact that I haven't slept, well I kept going woken up early the past three days, um, just constantly going. So here we are. Do my kitty. After a short walk, we're here at Casablanca, which has been rated quite highly on Google. Got it, I'll tell you what guys, check this out, check this out. So it's 34 degrees. The real feel. That was a very good lunch. We're just heading to our hotel, Sunshine Villa in Dumaguete. before but it looks nice there's a few beans in there so they're, they're, they'll soon go it's a lot better than the last one I tried in um, is it El Nido so we've done this in completely the wrong order we've had uh, our intention was that we weren't that hungry so we're gonna just go and grab a dessert actually no we're eating that we could do with some other food so we're thinking maybe we should go some maybe we should go for some fries now we're thinking, have a drink with the fries, because the fries can be quite salty. Then you go, might as well go for a meal, get a burger as well, so yeah, we're gonna go for the lot. So Rachel's now in the queue for a champ burger, I think it's called. So, um, we'll be feasting on those shortly. Probably also worth mentioning as well, that I haven't done an awful lot of filming today, as you probably noticed. Um, there's a very good reason for that. Firstly, uh, the most of it is travel day, so it's literally travelling from Sikihor to Dumaguete, 
from Dumaguete to our hotel and it was a warm day, we were quite tired so we rested for a bit when we got to our accommodation. But not only that, but while we were just cooling down and just chilling out for a bit, we watched a bit of TV and uh, the Jim Carrey film Yes Man was on, so we decided to watch the whole movie. Uh, and only recently decided to sort of freshen up and come back out, so it's already dark, uh, so there's not a lot to film today. Uh, tomorrow I think we're going to be visiting Apple Island, so when we get back to our hotel we're going to start booking that and then probably look at doing another tour for the day after, because we're only here for two full days. Just about to park our bikes up, and uh, Rachel gave a little bit of throttle, so she went into the wall and just grazed her arm. When they say sandbar, I was expecting a bit more sand <laughs> that wasn't underwater by about eight foot. Rachel's just come off the bike. Oh.